I would say the biggest benefit for me was being able to learn within an interactive and very practical environment, getting constructive feedback from tutors as well as colleagues and peers throughout those few days. And certainly when it came to the assessment itself, I felt very prepared, but at the same time I felt very challenged. And I think that kind of balance is very important if as mediators we start off learning, but we have to go out into the public arena and then actually manage a case. There's many benefits of uh, training with the Institute. I think one of them is definitely having the qualified teachers full of experience that came and delivered the training. They not only taught us about mediation, but they gave live examples of how mediation works in practice. They also gave us the um, examples of how it works here in the UK and in other countries. And you can see the difference, but it's the same mediation um, standard that, that, that occurs. And that brought quality to the programme. I think um, another aspect was the experiences that the students brought to the programme uh, in their sphere of work. Some were in mediation, some wasn't. But um, the life experiences and the training of the course made it very rich. The best course that I've attended was the mediation accreditation course that I did uh, last November. What I find most useful is the techniques that we learned, such as asking open questions, using silence uh, effectively, just because you can use them in your business, but also everyday interaction with friends and family. And I would highly recommend this course to everyone who wants to learn about, not only about mediation, but also about effective communication generally. In my eyes, is uh, one of the best courses available. Um, partly because it's longer than most, it's five days training plus one uh, for assessment. Um, and it's a practical course. It's written by practic practicing mediators. It's run by practicing mediators. And during the course, the participants are coached by practicing mediators. So it's a very practical, realistic, common sense course for a skill which is suitable for not just dispute resolution, but many other things as well. Another unique thing is that um, the assessment criteria uh, is reasonably common across most of the mediation bodies, but the uh, Charter Institute is the only one that I know of that has a mandatory competence. There are three competences that are assessed. The main one is what we call rapport building, in other words, building a trusting relationship with the parties. Uh, and that, we believed, was uh, essential, an essential skill, irrespective of any technical skills that the mediator might have. And so it was made a mandatory competency. So both times a participant is assessed, they have to have been seen as being competent in that uh, area. Um, and I think that that makes the um, Chartered Institute qualification much stronger, much higher than the competition.